There has been a ton of gear that I've purchased over time. Some good investments and some bad investments. But hey, investments is good investments, right? Wrong. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the top gear that I have invested in that either made me more money or just saved me a ton of money over time. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to ProVision Studios. And if you're new here, my name is Aquan, and here on this channel, I'm here to help you build your skills and tools as a filmmaker and a content creator to get your vision for your next project off the ground. If this video gives you any value, please consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. So one of the first investments that I actually made and the purchases that I made as a filmmaker was actually a great high quality microphone. Bad footage can be forgivable, but bad audio will never be forgivable. Once I learned that, I knew that I needed to invest into a high quality microphone. The microphone that I invested in was the Rode NTG3. Right now I'm actually using it and it's actually recording me right now. So this is what it sounds like without the microphone. Hey, what's up everybody? Nice to meet you. Hey, hey, hey. Now this is what it sounds like with the microphone. Hey, what's up everybody? Nice to meet you. Hey, hey, hey. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of the companies from the gear that I'm mentioning to you. I'm just sharing with you the gear that I purchased and that has saved me money over time. Around the time that I purchased this microphone, the price was a little steep. I'm not sure if it actually uh, shifted or not, but it was in a great investment. Over time, this microphone has paid for itself numerous amount of times. I have rented it out. I have loaned it to other folks. I have used it on projects that actually saved me time and money because the quality of the microphone and the audio was actually top notch. This would be one of the first piece of gears I would say invest into is a high quality microphone. Next up on the list is still in the audio family is actually an external recorder. The external recorder that I got is the Mix Pre 3. This external recorder replaced my Zoom H5. Um, I love the Zoom H5 and I love the ergonomics of it, but um, I went on this one shoot one time uh, and I was working on a documentary and the team had a Mix Pre 6 and I was running audio and it came with like an application and this app was just amazing. Uh, once you're able to connect it to the app and you can trigger the record from the app, you could load in the names of each take. It was just a real high quality external recorder. Also, it can record multiple tracks, 32-bit float, and the preamps are phenomenal. And pairing that with the high quality microphone that I got, my audio game was untouchable at that point in time. So investing into a great external audio recorder will actually just save you time and just save you money. The next piece of gear that I invested into was actually a good ND filter. I had purchased one before from Amazon. It was like a one of those Amazon Globe brand ND filters. It was pretty great. It helped me for what I needed it at the specific time. But just over time, like I've noticed that my footage will have like this color cast. And with this color cast, I'm like, what is that about? And then I realized that it was the ND filter that I was having. Um, and so when I end up purchasing uh, this one from Peter McKinning, this didn't really make me money, but it paid for itself over time. And the reason why, it helped me save money actually. So I don't have to keep continue to buy new ND filters. So now I just have step up rings on all of my lenses and when it's needed, I just pop this on and get a great image. The next piece of gear that I invested into was actually these nano V-mount batteries from Core. These are really, really, really great batteries. One, because you can fly with them. And this is how it saved me money is because now I don't have to purchase multiple batteries for my cameras and to power my external recorder. This thing powers everything that I use. It powers my S1H, it powers my, it powers my monitor, it powers the Mix Priest 3. It powers everything off of this one V-mount battery. And it just saved me so much money over time because now I have to check my bag in, which I never really do. I never really check my bag in, but it helps me pop this inside my Pelican case, throw this as an overhead um, on a plane and just fly with it. And now I have batteries that last me about two to three hours per shoot. This next one, I don't think a lot of people pay much attention to it or even look into it, but a great SD card will save you so much money and actually just make you so much money over the long run. I don't think no one really knows about this brand, but I just wanna shout out Prograde. I am not sponsored by them, by the way. I had one card just kind of like break on me. It was one of those SanDisk cards 
and I really needed a, a new SD card on my the next upcoming shoot. And I just took a chance and I invested into them. And what I mean by these cars are one of my daily drivers. I use these cars along with the Angel Birds on every shoot and it has never failed. Yeah, and so, and they're tough. They're tough, tough, rugged cars. The other SD cards that I had was from Sandus. They were flimsy and they kind of like crack up every time you put them in like a case or anything. But with these pro grade cars, they're tough, they're rugged and they just work. So invest into a great SD card. This will save you tons of money. And lastly, one of the greatest investments that I believe that I've made as a filmmaker, um, that time and time again, every time I look at it, sometimes I'm like, thank God I have this. It's actually my small HD 702 bright monitor. I had a five inch monitor before, but investing into the seven inch monitor just changed the game for me. One, now the, the director and the producer that I'm with, I can just hand them this monitor. They can go off to the side. I can rig it up and have a wireless feed to them and they can just look through it. And for me, while I'm operating with my shoulder rig, I have a bigger monitor to view all my footage and actually make sure that I'm in focus. And plus, it just saves me so much money. And over time, it just paid for itself. And plus, come on, it looks cool. All right, so here are some of the honorable mentions that didn't really make the cut, but they're great. Sigma 18 to 35. This is a great, great lens. If you are a beginner filmmaker and you're looking for a sharp lens, invest into this. Um, the only downside for this lens is made for APS-C, but if you're shooting on like a Blackmagic Pocket or even any of the Blackmagic cameras, especially a Super 35 camera, grab that lens, you won't regret it. But now in the world of gimbals and steady cams and stuff like that, this gets overlooked, but it shouldn't. And that is a great high quality tripod. A great high quality tripod is phenomenal. I invested into about two of them and over the years it has made me money and paid for itself over and over and over again. And it just saves me so much time on set to just plop it up, throw my camera on there, fully rig it out and just get ready for the next shoot and ready to the next scene. And it's just so, so good, these stable ones. These things will outlast my filmmaking career. And lastly, SSD drives. Invest into these, please. This helped me save so much money by saving more time. Um, I purchased a Samson T5 solid state drive because one, editing off an of SSD just makes things easier, faster, and lighter. And I pop these into my bag, put this into my laptop, work off of it, and get busy. So I know some things in this video you probably already invested into and you probably already have, but I just wanted to share the knowledge with you. And I'm so grateful that I purchased these things because over time, and I know time and time again, they will be still in my arsenal and still in my bag on a daily, daily basis. Speaking about things that's gonna stay in my camera bag, if you're looking for some affordable cinema lenses, check out this video right here where I explain the cinema lenses that I invested into and they actually are really, really good. Don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment down below on the gear that you have purchased and has saved you money. So like I say in every video, don't forget to protect your vision and know that God is love. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.